Hello everyone. Very good afternoon. Thanks for joining the session. My name is Park and I am the CEO of Next in Company, Next in Technology Sanctuary. That is large language model operating system for enterprise. So these are the topics that probably we will go through. Then probably we will be looking into some of the use case scenarios across industries, across enterprises like OTC, B2B and else. And also we will see how we can leverage the BTP and BTP based services to build this large language based operating system for enterprise. And I will also try to explain that step by step learning framework to build or to actually develop your knowledge in this GNI area. And the most interesting part is the quiz of, okay. So I will spend more time in the quiz part so that I will have more time to interact with you guys and in that way it will be better to actually know each other. So what is this operating system? So if you see in the operating system, mainly there are two parts, the software part and the hardware part. And as a user, we generally interact with the software. And in the software part, you will see there are, so this is very high level actually designed for any kind of operating system. We do have in the software part the software, system software and the application software. System software's job is to interact with different parts within the whole system, like it will be operating, it will be touching to the operating system. Operating system will talk to the different department or different things from the hardware layer. So if we replicate the similar thing in large language based enterprise operating system, so in that case, if you can imagine nowadays the large language model, those are the foundation models, have lots of capabilities. The capabilities are like it can interact with any kind of files, it can interact with like your voice, it can interact with text, it can interact with the video. So with that particular concept, the large language based models, we can interact, we can take any kind of input from the user and on top of that, we do have the, the enterprise software that is we can compare it with, with the system software. And on top of BDP, you can, you can build large language based operating system anywhere, but as because we are dealing with SAP and enterprise related software, so we can leverage SAP AI core engine part of my like AI hub and we can build the operating LLM operating systems. So what does that mean by LLM operating system? As because it has all the text, speech and vision capabilities and also it has very good analytical capabilities and also it can interact with your database like we can interact with our HANA cloud for memory consumption purpose like you can we can, we can query the different structured data from HANA cloud we can also query the different unstructured data like file based informations and also we can interact with different other tools with the PDP or across SAP ecosystem. We can build the large language based, large language model based agents. What are the outcomes? We can operate the transactions seamlessly. We can automate different workflows. You can automate customer support. You can enhance data analysis and generate. These are the different use case, possible use case probably we can think of from the OTC area. Order to cash, like in general, order to cash, you have pre sales, sales of the processing, delivery, payment, and billing, right? So, you can build customer interaction bots, you can build the demand forecasting system, you can build the intelligent order management system, credit scoring system. So, you can optimize the route for your deliveries, you can detect the frauds for the payment systems and also the automating the payment process I will give you the link of this particular document you can take it and you can just work you can just look into it okay so there are some other use cases from API scenario as well like the invoice and BTP services so we can use that to capture the information from the invoices and also we can hosting scenarios anomaly detection scenarios reporting purposes or let's say take an example for car manufacturer so we do have the vendors and internal employees and customers 
and we will have different modules. We have implemented the pillar inventory approval process. We have also implemented this like vendor invoicing, duplicate invoice, check project. We have also created a system which will detect all the duplicate invoices and also report to the account payment department. For the AP scenarios, for the ER scenarios, payment reconciliations, and also ECM scenarios like policy document search, adapted resume scanning. So those are the prominent use cases probably you can also implement in your business processes. Of course, SAP has given lots of standard pre-built solutions which you can directly use as part of your SO HANA. On SAP side, like SAP build code, build automation, build process automation, then the in the Hacker Analytics Cloud, it will automatically generate the report hub for all the developers, for all the people who want to build custom solutions or applications. You can consider like as a framework, okay, to build any kind of JAI based agents in PTP using the JAI cloud. Okay, so as part of the framework, you can use the retrieval augmented generation, RAG, and also LangChain. And as part of the vector engine, probably we will be fond of using the HANA cloud. You can deal with any kind of structured or unstructured data. Structured data and you can build the overall management perspective, the super engine, which can control all of the other engines. So we are very thankful, we are very thankful all the pro to all the providers who are actually given this kind of model, like the GPT, Gemini, Mistral, Lama, all those models. But there are limitations in these models. So what are those limitations? Because those models have been trained with all the internet-based data, right? So all the open data, it doesn't have the business module specific data, the customer specific information. So it doesn't have the domain knowledge and many times it goes into the hallucination mode because it doesn't have the proper instruction based on your requirement or based on your business processes. And also the training Date also, there are training date cut off as well. The latest models, they have been trained till December 2023. Okay, so to tackle all those kind of challenges, we can actually infuse our own data, our business data, and we can ask the foundation models to work on top of it. So, what are the different options that we have to customize with our own business processes and data? So mainly we do have three process or three ways that we can actually handle our custom information and processes. That is the instruction tuning, fine tuning, and drag. Okay. Don't worry. So probably we can make it more interactive in some time so that uh, I can take some of your questions as well. Most of the partners, most of the customers, they are mainly looking into the drag scenario because we do have lots of scope there in the drag scenario. Okay, so probably I will try to explain a little bit because you can understand right, in 15 20 minutes you cannot do a lot of things. So if you guys have any questions later on as well, you can always connect. This is one of the RAC scenario that you can just take as a reference, like whenever we will get any kind of user information, user ask questions, we need to, we can embed all those informations and then whatever the documents that we have, unstructured data, those also we can embed it in some database like in our scenario probably we can use HANA cloud and then compare it with using cosine similarity and then we can then take the relevant terms, relevant information from your huge documents and then give all those information like the user query plus the relevant terms from your documents to the LLM so that LLM can refine the responses to the user. Okay, so this is how the flow will work. If you have more questions, probably we can just discuss it later on. Okay, so now coming to this part, this is probably this is the most interesting and most important part because those providers like all those Google, Meta, Microsoft, they are building large language models. There are very few people who actually is able to implement it because there are the knowledge gap. Okay? So to make this knowledge gap, there should be some structured learning path. Right? So probably you can just take this learning path, 
don't I would suggest don't directly jump into learning the large language based application building rather go step by step first start with python because python is the industry standard for any kind of gen ai or machine learning use case start with python build some small small use case learn sql basics because many of the time you have to handle and deal with data then try to learn and start learning the ai ml code if you directly go to the gen ai probably you will be missing what is happening behind the scene and when you have to tackle the complex business processes or complex scenarios probably there will be some problem so that's the reason i am saying go from the bottom to up so you learn for ai ml techniques then you go and learn different regressions and classification based models and use cases also try to learn nlp because in, behind gen ai the core techno techniques technique is natural language processing so try to learn all those kind of things like dfi dfi what to bake the cosine similarity that i was talking about okay and then try to jump into the generative ai foundation models okay so and then you can easily start building applications on top of the gen ai on the foundation models but only understanding of like how to work the gen ai apis is not efficient is not sufficient for that you have to just use you have to use also some framework because you will not be creating everything from the scratch right? so you need some framework so langchain is the framework the right framework to choose to choose for any kind of applications at least as of now because it got lots of funding and it is evolving day by day and also try to you can learn this vector database how to actually do the data vectorization and then store it into different vector databases like the pine code chroma db fires and ana cloud as well and also try to start learning the local llms because local llm is the future interacting with your customers you are facing scenario that customer is asking what about the security so you can handle all the security of course you can do it in bdp as well as it is ensuring to protect your data and follow the all best practices but as per my understanding the world will be moving with local llms okay installed on your own premises in your own own virtual machines okay in your own vpcs okay so start learning how to actually deploy the local llms like llama to your own machine and how to use the most things and you can start building some of the applications that we are highlighting it here like the vendor recommendation engine customer segmentation and recommendation system duplicate invoice to do as a detecting the duplicate invoices okay and then probably there are different other use cases like resume scanning and scoring systems so probably these are the use cases you can actually build from your learning don't worry you can easily download by scanning the whole piece of document by just scanning this bar hq qr code i wanted to interact with each and every one of you try to have 10 minutes more so this is the perfect time to start interacting with you guys in between if you have any question probably we can take it otherwise i'll be moving into the most interesting section that is the quiz to participate in this particular quiz let me just quickly make it in this form or i think are you guys ready to to participate here there are lots of very simple questions and i do have few goodies for you so if you will be able to answer correctly probably you will get it a cool t-shirt from our next year technologies give me the top performing llm models in the market top 3 llm models in the market maybe anyone if you can yeah yeah just the chat gpt is not a llm model right yeah take the mic please Jamila, yes. Good. Thank you, sir. Thanks for this participation.
Let's go to the next question. You can identify what are the top performing open source models. So uh, he has already taken the name, but still another chance. That's it. I think that's fine. <laughs> Thank you for your participation. Let's go for the next one. Anyone can explain me? Anyone can explain me? Whenever we use our rack, so whenever you, we use rack scenario, we used to deal with these other parameters like the top K, top T, or any kind of like LLM use case, LLM, when we are implementing LLM scenario in using any kind of model, we use these other parameters. Any idea? T is for? This is for you, sir. What is the architecture behind GPT model? Thanks for your participation. So, can anyone just name three vector devices? Can anyone explain me or just give one of the things that we can do out of June? Just help me. the business model. Like he can help execute the same sort of, he can help me even uh, change the delivery block, etc. Thank you for participation, but okay, so the next one is Langchain. So what is Langchain, please? What is Langsmith? What is Langsor? What is Token? Token in LLM. Okay. Characters, number of characters, keywords. What is parameter? Because you can see, like, okay, so this model has these billions of parameters. What is parameter? That's good. Now, let's uh, move to the next one. What is the biggest parameter for Lama model? Any idea? 70 billion parameter. Okay, so what is the proprietary LLM model from AWS? Yeah, very good. Thank you, sir. This is the newest addition, like how to deploy the fine-tuned LLM models in BD. Create a data set and then uh, create a model and then deploy it. Okay, we need to have a data set in S3 and then uh, if you create a new model with the artifacts, under the artifacts and then you have to set the model, text model or what model it is. Okay, so SMP is giving this VLLM Framework maybe even I also have to try it. A good try. Thank you for participation. Okay, right, so what next? So standard SOHANA JDI solutions. Just give one or two names. Let's go for my next question. I have few more. Probably I will just go with some very basic Python program. Okay, program. Thank you. Is it busy? But yeah. This should be very basic. Even if you don't understand or have not used Python before, you will be able to answer it. So here I will have five print options. So probably I will have only five more pieces of t-shirts. So you can move ahead with this. What would be the output of all those prints? MacBook, iPhone, AirPod, Nvidia, iPad. What would be the output for this particular print? Anyone? What should be the output? What is that? NVIDIA and iPod. NVIDIA. NVIDIA, right? Okay, so let's see. What is the file name? So please, please. Okay, so next one. What is the next output? What is the answer for the next output? Anyone? Anyone? Airport. Who has not participated before? Only can participate now. Okay. What is the output for this print products? One, four, three. Uh, iPhone, 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 iPhone,
and then we are printing it. I do have a last piece, okay? So thank you for participation. What would be the output for this one? If I just show you again. Okay. Line number 40, what would be the output for this one? Just look into this once again. Just a few pieces, right? Okay, fine. Fine. So, you have not participated, right? So here it is printing. What is it is printing? It is printing NVIDIA 1 in products. What should be the output? Yeah, thank you. And now finally, if I just open the products. So you have not participated before? Thank you. Thank you guys for joining this quiz session. Let me just quickly give you one channel. How you can connect to me. You can go directly to acloudmovie.com and you can just go to this WhatsApp and either me or some of my team members will be replying. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Okay? Thank you so much.